People always ask me, how's NetApp going? To answer that question, you need to look back at history. In the last 200 years, there's been two major waves of innovation. The first was the Industrial Revolution. This brought us machines, factories, railways and electricity, and our society was never the same. The second was the Internet Revolution, with computers, data networks, and access to information and mass communications. Again, our world changed forever. We're now entering a third wave. It combines things like intelligent machines and advanced analytics and nanotechnology. We live in a time where there's an explosion of achievement and creativity. But with it comes huge amounts of information and data growing at an exponential rate. These are amazing times, but there's one aspect that fascinates me. Never before has a company's own data and information been so important. Information is their lifeblood. IP is king. But there's a paradox. More and more companies trust their information to someone else. And that someone else is the cloud. Why would a company trust their information to someone else? The answer is complex, but you can distill it down to this. Cloud makes it cheap to fail. Trying out a new project or testing a new idea no longer needs a big upfront commitment. And that's an attractive proposition. When I say cloud, what do I mean? Well, rather than defining it, let's call it the four things I know about the cloud. Number one, the cloud absolutely makes sense for a select group of workloads. For example, starting new projects or responding to spikes in activity. It's especially good for seldom accessed archival data. Number two, it's expensive for a company to run intensive production applications in the cloud. As it stands today, the economics don't stack up. Just like the promise of the paperless office, a company's core production applications will continue to be run on-premise. Number three, organizations need cloud to be a seamless extension of their existing infrastructure. Not a separate silo, because if your data is in a silo, then you can't easily move workloads around. And that brings me to my fourth and most important point. Moving data is hard. Yes, compute is easy. Spinning up more virtual machines in the cloud is simple. And network's also easy. But data management is by far the hardest problem to solve. Because applications need to be close to their data. Put another way, data has gravity. Because they rely on each other, data pulls applications to it. If this isn't carefully managed, then latency becomes an issue. The second reason is data not only has gravity, but it also has mass. You can't just move your data someplace else with a click of your fingers. It takes time and effort and planning. Customers need to manage their data properly. That's the real challenge of cloud. The question we ask ourselves every day is, how's NetApp placed to help customers with these challenges? We believe our customers can count on us to help them be successful on their terms. Why? Well, we have one platform to help our customers manage data effectively. It defines who we are and what we do. For customers, no matter the size of their organization, type of application or data, it's one platform. NetApp creates a seamless extension of a customer's infrastructure, making it easy for our customers to move data within their own infrastructure and between their own infrastructure and the cloud. After the dot-com bust, companies realized they needed to be smarter with their storage buying decisions. NetApp helped and thus grew into a multi-billion dollar company, gaining customers all over the world. When server virtualization took off a few years later, smart companies realized the benefits NetApp offered in managing data in virtual environments. NetApp experienced its second period of hypergrowth, winning even more customers. As we enter this period of cloud-centric innovation, more and more organizations will realize NetApp is the teammate they can count on to help them be more successful by utilizing the power of the cloud.